It's about right. <laughs> Not very good at hitting on women. I'm learning this pretty quickly. How I found out is uh, that I've been whenever I try, a lot of times what happens is I get nervous and my voice gets lower. End up sounding like Buffalo Bill from Sounds of the Lambs. <laughs> Not a good thing. <laughs> Don't know if you know. No woman anywhere wants a guy to walk up and just be like, Hi. <laughs> I want to see if you'll get in my van. <laughs> Come with me to my place. What's your opinion on lotions and baskets? <laughs> it's not how you make friends. It's not. Something new I've been trying to do, something I've been trying to do now is trying to change up my voice a little bit, try to sound a little different, a little more confident, uh, like Liam Neeson from Taken. Uh, I just feel like, you know, people feel, seem like he's like a tough guy. He always, you know, like he'll protect you. So I feel like if I walked up and I was just like, I don't know who you are. I don't know what you're looking for in a man. You can walk away right now, that'd be the end of it. Or, you can give me your number, and I will call you. I will find you. Why are you running away? Come back. I have a special set of skills. She's gone, too strong. <laughs> that doesn't work. Start thinking again. All right, maybe something different. Maybe trying to sound more sophisticated, more like you want to hear me talk, like Morgan Freeman. Yeah. His voice is at this point a national treasure. I feel like people respond well to that, just hearing me walk up. My word. You are the most gorgeous woman I've ever seen. <laughs> Truly, the gods took their time carving the marble stone to create this angel I see before me. <laughs> Oh, how the heavens and earth stand still. Bitch, why are you asleep? Wake up. <laughs> I'm trying to woo you. <laughs> Messing with my game. <laughs> one last thing I've been trying, I think this one's a surefire winner, is trying to sound more intelligent, like the president. Very intelligent man, very confident when he speaks. I think that one's a surefire winner. Just walk up. Oh, you are the uh, most beautiful woman. All I've ever seen. I'd like to uh, buy a drink. Perhaps we can discuss our likes, dislikes, find some uh, common interests, and see if we can spark a connection. Now that might work, but here's the thing when you sound like Barack Obama, but you don't look like <laughs> Barack Obama. <laughs> it's creepy as shit, yeah. <laughs> nobody, else, nobody else heard that little, that's weird. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for pointing that out. Thank you for finishing that joke for me. Appreciate it. This job's easy, you know. <laughs> No, I, um, I know uh, it doesn't matter though how confident I sound, how confident I am. I have gone on dates with women. Shouldn't have to clarify, but I have gone on dates with women. I have, trust me. It's true. I have gone on dates with women. And, you know, I'll, I'll spend this money, we'll have a good time, enjoy each other's company. I'm thinking we're connecting, something's going to happen. Uh, nothing ever happens, because I always get that excuse that women sometimes like to give. Uh, one of them being like, I'm not one of those girls. Okay? I am not one of those girls. I'm not. And I'm like, all right. You're not one of those girls. I get it. It's fine. I understand. But where are those girls? <laughs> Clearly, you know who I'm looking for. <laughs> Point them out. <laughs> I shouldn't complain about my voice, though. I know I shouldn't. You guys have been hearing it for a while now. I have this nice, deep, bassy kind of voice. Sounds a lot like I ate James Earl Jones. Like, I can literally walk around and just tell people, I'm looking for my son, Hakeem. I can do that, guys. I can do that. Simba, everything the light touches is our kingdom. That's what's going on right here. 
It was always weird growing up with this voice. Uh, the weirdest part about having this voice, though, as a kid, was like my parents never worried about me playing outside by myself or being abducted or kidnapped. Because they, they knew nobody was going to take a kid who sounded like this. There was never an ice cream truck driving outside my house with some guy inside like, Hey, little boy, I got candy in my van. You want to come with me? That sounds... Oh, shit! He just drives away. <laughs> I'm standing there candyless and sad. <laughs> yeah, my name is Julian. Thank you so much, guys. Have a great night. Here's Dr. Howard.